Let's talk about the real cause of breathing problems. I'm talking about sleep apnea. I'm talking about snoring. I'm talking about all sorts of sinus problems. There's a really interesting book, which I'm halfway through, called Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art by James Nestor. And I agree with most of the data he talks about with a couple things that I disagree, but you know, I'm halfway through, maybe he talks about that in the second part of the book. But if you combine the data in this book with the data uh, from Western Price's book, I think you'll come up with a really good solution for breathing problems. He did some really interesting research from all over the world on indigenous cultures, and he looked at their teeth because he was a dentist, and he found some fascinating data if you compare older cultures who actually ate a lot healthier versus the modern civilized culture that we live in today, there's a huge difference in our teeth, okay? I mean, if you start studying ancient skulls, they had their wisdom teeth, right? Nowadays, people just remove their wisdom teeth, okay? Why is that? Well, back then they had really good straight teeth, good facial bones, they had a wider face, good bone structure. Nowadays, our face is becoming thinner. Um, people are having nasal septum deviation, which they need surgery for. Um, braces are normal. I mean, it's kind of weird that we need braces. Why the heck do we need braces? Why are our teeth so crooked? People are having sleep apnea, they're snoring. So what is the difference between what we used to do and what we do now? Well, James Nestor focuses more on the lack of chewing, right? Nowadays, Everything is uh, soft foods like soups, guacamole, hummus, dips. Our steak has to be very, very tender. We don't consume a lot of vegetables, so we don't chew a lot, especially these young kids where the only thing they chew is probably bubble gum. So James Nestor is focusing on the lack of chewing and Weston Price is focusing more on nutrition because I think they both are the root cause. Because simply, if you look at the indigenous cultures, they're doing a lot of uh, whole foods. They're doing a lot of nutritionally dense foods. And it's the trace minerals that activate the proteins that help build our bones, as well as the vitamins that activate the minerals that make our bones structurally sound. And if you have a nutritional deficiency, the actual structure, the size of the bones will not fully develop. I mean, that's a known fact. But... If you never chew, okay, if you're constantly being fed soft foods, you don't activate the muscles to make the bones structurally sound. I mean, just like the rest of your body. I mean, if you want to build a strong back, you can't do it without activating the muscles, right? So you have to do certain exercises to strengthen the muscles, to strengthen the bones because they're attached through ligaments. So as far as the face goes, the main muscle is the, the articulation in your jaw of chewing. And if you're not chewing enough, you're not gonna activate the muscles around your face. And so the real problem boils down to one thing. Our mouth is too small for our teeth. And if there's not enough space for the teeth to grow, it comes out sideways, it comes out forward, it comes out back, and we don't have room for these extra teeth called the wisdom teeth. And if our mouth is smaller, our airway passages are also going to be smaller and that is going to restrict our breathing i mean to me it's barbaric on the way that they deal with these issues i mean to go in there and do surgery they're they're surgically making the airways more open i mean even if you think about animals in the wild right do they have crooked teeth do they need braces no why because they do a lot of chewing and they eat food that their bodies were meant to eat so this is what i recommend first of all Get your kids off the refined foods, number one, and get them to start chewing foods uh, more. Now, you as an adult watching this can also make a dramatic change on your facial structure, which will then lead to helping you breathe better. And here's what I'm going to recommend you do. Start to do nose breathing, which is a lot better than mouth breathing, and you're going to force your body to get more oxygen. Number two, start chewing your food longer, okay? Now, I recommend consuming salad, like in large quantities, like seven to 10 cups. When I tell people that, sometimes they freak out. They're like seven to 10 cups of vegetables. 
they, that's way too much chewing for them. So they'll say, can I blend it? Can I use a greens drink as a substitute? And I'll just tell them, why don't you just have your spouse chew it for you? And then that way you can avoid the, the massive effort of chewing your food. But I really think you should start chewing your food because if you're gonna chew seven to 10 cups of salad and just take the time to chew it, you will develop your jaw muscles. And it's not a bad thing to chew other things like steak, for example, that might not be so tender. Just spend your time chewing that because what you're doing, you're strengthening your muscles and you're remodeling your jaw muscles and your face muscles. And that's gonna create more oxygen because you're gonna have more of an opening through your mouth. I mean, you can start eating celery, carrots. So find things that are true that are also nutrient dense foods. All right, number three, and this is based on Weston Price. Fat soluble vitamins are crucial, like vitamin D, like vitamin K2. Both of those fat soluble vitamins control calcium. And you need plenty of calcium in the right places to form teeth in your jaw. So in other words, don't go on a low fat diet. So this includes eggs, egg yolk, cheese, not the low fat cheese, it's fatty fish, fatty meats, and grass fed butter as well. Now, of course, one of the big things is avoiding processed foods, refined carbohydrates, and then trace minerals. Trace minerals um, are all about activating certain proteins in your body. And a lot of people are deficient in trace minerals because it's just not in our foods anymore because the large farms are really only putting three minerals back in the soil, um, NPK, right? We have nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. But what about all the other trace minerals that we need? But trace minerals are found in shellfish. They're found in seafood, okay? And sea kelp as well. So that would be definitely something to put on the list. Now, if you haven't seen my video on nose breathing, I'll put that up right here. Check it out.